permanent tissues the permanent tissues is also called as mature tissues these tissues come from meristematy and develop into mature tissues these tissues are made up of dead cells so they lost the power of division permanent tissues having different shape size and function and maybe they are dead or living these tissues developed from meristematic tissues so the process of conversion of meristematic tissues into permanent tissue is called as differentiation permanent tissues or mature tissues are classified into two broad categories as simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissues simple permanent tissues again classified into three types as parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma now we are going to learn about the parenchyma the parenchyma test tissues are the only living tissues in all the plants most of the plants the parenchyma tissues are present they are thin walled oval or rounded or polygonal shape with well defined intercellular spaces the intercellular spaces endrathu oru tissue cellukku unnor cellukku naduvula irukkira space da okay that is the intercellular spaces the storage of food is the main function of parenchyma this parenchyma classified into two types one is a parenchyma and the another one is the chloranchyma okay so what is parenchyma in aquatic plants aquatic plants are thannila vaadra plant ku the tissues parenchyma tissues contain air spaces air space to or empty or kaathu etcha mari pai irukum with the help of the air space the aquatic plants float on the water surface since this parenchyma tissues having the air space so these are all called as the parenchyma so the parenchyma are the special tissues are special parenchyma tissues present only in the aquatic plants which made the plants to float on the water surface okay and next one chloranchyma in certain plants parenchyma test tissues associated with the chlorophyll okay chlorophyll hence they are called as the chloranchyma these tissues take part in the photosynthesis now we can learn about the functions of parenchyma the main function of parenchyma tissues are storage they store the food and nutrients and they provide support and foundation to the plants and the parenchyma tissues directly or indirectly take part in the growth and development of the plants these tissues provide mechanical rigidity to the plants they are the site of all the metabolic activities so parenchyma tissues provide the space for metabolic activities they help in regeneration healing and repair of wounds edavo cell damage aachuna parenchyma tissues ad help panni ad tissues ad pusa valara vekku and involved in the movement of water and other nutrients okay these are all the functions of parenchyma tissue colenchyma colenchyma tissues are living tissues found below the epidermis epidermis is the outer protective coat of the plant tissues these colenchyma tissues just beneath or inside the epidermal tissues anga da irukum they are elongated with uneven thick walls the walls of the colchyma are not even in certain tissues more thickness and certain tissues less thickness okay abadi irukum 
no intracellular spaces between the adjacent cells. When you learned about the parenchymal tissues, between the adjacent cells, intercellular spaces are present. But here, no intercellular spaces in colon chyma. The cells have rectangular or oblique or tapering ends. Cells mostly rectangular in nature and sometimes the oblique in nature. Okay. Then, these colon chyma tissues classified into four categories depends upon the thickening. First one, angular colon chyma. It means the thickness only in the angles. Okay. Angular colon chyma thickenings around the tissues all over the places and the cells the thickening is there. Lamellar colon chyma just like a uh, windows or a general bola angagana all pakamo thicker. Okay. That's a lamellar. Lacunar colon chyma is the fourth one. It is the uh, type of colon chyma where intercellular spaces filled with the thickness okay then now you can learn about the functions of colon chyma colon chyma mainly provide mechanical support to the plants or plant stronger recurrent colon chyma these colon chyma tissues permit the growth and the elongation of plants like a parent chyma colon chyma also take part in the growth and the elongation of plant. As these colon chyma tissues are flexible, then sclerum chyma. These colon chyma tissues enable the plant to bend instead of breaking. Upon plant is not what I can do, what I can do, what I can do, and that colon chyma is not the same. Now, it protects the plants from the breaking. And colon chyma with chloroplast can perform photosynthesis. Okay. So, these are all the functions of colon chyma. Scleron chyma. The scleron chyma tissues are thick walled cells with lignin, a special substance present in the walls of scleron chyma tissues. It is lignin. Since scleron chyma tissues are not having protoplast at maturity, so, the sclerum chymatis tissues are considered as a dead cells. Among the three types of simple permanent tissues as parenchyma, colon chyma and sclerum chyma, sclerum chyma tissues are dead cells due to the absence of protoplast at maturity. These tissues again classified into two types as fibers and sclerites. Okay. What is fibers? Fibers are elongated tissues with a pointed end. A lengthy arco and a both side and a pointed end. These are fibers walls made up of lignin. So it's a lignified walls. They are abundantly found in many plants. Most of the plants, these fibers are there. It gives a strength to the plant. The average length of the fiber is 1 to 3 millimeter it's an average but in certain plants they measured about 20 to 550 millimeter for example flax hemp and jute in all these plants the length of the fibers from about 20 to 550 centimeter in length next one sclerites they are widely distributed in plant body. They are broad in nature. They occur in single or in group. They are isodiametric with the lignified walls. What is isodiametric? Simply we can say circle. the isodiametric. So these sclerites are isodiametric which can with lignin or lignified walls. A pits are found in walls. Pits means in the small small holes. Pits are found in the 
walls and sclerites are also common in fruits and nuts then next one functions sclerenchyma is found in the covering of seeds and nuts and the seeds and nuts la tight fiber matter urcha varudha illaya adu kaaraname the presence of sclerenchyma da then sclerenchyma provides strength to the plants appo enna the plant la fiber adhigama varudho and the plant strength ah irukko that is due to the sclerenchyma tissues i mean presence of sclerenchyma and sclerenchyma provides mechanical support and protection to the plants enna sonna mari the plant strong ah strength ah irukiradhu kaaranam sclerenchyma and also it gives the protection to the plants these are all the functions of sclerenchyma